Hello everyone, here is the storyline for the episode that aired last night. In this episode, Sang Chol and Han Maru attend kindergarten with intention of giving Anna the clothes they had previously purchased for her. During their visit, Sang Chol notices Anna with Doctor's cell phone, eager to meet Anna at the kindergarten. Sang Chol buys several hamburgers to share with her and her friends. He then begins his search for Anna's cell phone. His quest leads him to a cell phone repair shop where he learns that the repair process will take several days. Meanwhile, Johan records a conversation between Sarah and Director Yeo. Director Yeo, refusing to be truthful, is closely monitored by her secretary Jang and is unable to go anywhere until she confesses. Sarah, unable to stay for long, leaves after learning from Sang Jol about Doksu's cell phone. They arrange a meeting at Bo Bejang, where coincidentally Jiyun is also present. Song Chul overhears a conversation between Saran and Jihoon and learns that Jihoon is the true killer of Song Yi. Outraged, Song Chul confronts Jihoon, calling him an animal rather than a human. Despite his anger towards Jihoon for killing Song Yi, I believe that Song Chul will ultimately only blackmail Jihoon for his crime. Therefore, I won't dwell on uh, the exact word Song Chul used during his confrontation with Jihoon. Sang Jol also informs Saran that he needs to know what owns Doksu's cell phone in order to negotiate with her. The cell phone is his final significant asset, and he has no intention of simply handling it over to Saran or trading it for a small sum of money. In another development, Saran and Aija discover Bobe Jang's secret recipe note, bringing them temporary relief for their problems. Towards the end of this episode, Anna realizes her cell phone has been stolen. She is devastated as the cell phone was a gift from Song Yi. Upon hearing Hana's description of the phone, the jump quickly deduced that the stolen phone belonged to Doksu. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.